Hello my friends, welcome to another one of Z-Man's famous videos. Today we're going to discuss a uh, pretty simple item. This is going to, we're going to show how to start a fire with a ferrocerium rod. So uh, this is uh, not a whole lot to look at. We got the rod and the striker. Um, you can get the rods just bare. You can get them molded with a plastic grip like this. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to get these. They get sold by different names. Uh, their proper name is Ferrocerium Rod. I'll have some text up on the screen here in a moment to explain what that is. Um, they're also sold as magnesium fire starters. It's not magnesium. There's no magnesium in it that I know of. Um, ferrocerium is a compound. It's a compound that has that is sensitive to friction and it makes nice little sparks. And they're hot sparks too. Um, I'm going to show you some uh, close-up of this in a moment. The uh, What I want to illustrate here is that uh, these rods come with a polish to them. I'm not sure whether it's a plastic coating or a wax coating or what, but that makes it difficult to get started with these. So one of the things you want to do when you get one of these is uh, get a hard, a, a hard scraper, perhaps the one that came with it, and kind of work it and get that off. You can, don't need to do it all the way around, just one side, one, one surface will do, and that'll get you a start with these. So uh, let's break and change to a close-up. So what I wanted to show you in close-up was this polished surface. Hopefully we get our lighting correct and we can see how this is the scraped side and that's the polished side. This is all nice and round and this is now flattened from many scrapings. These are just a wonderful little fire starter. This one, like I, uh, this one is sold as a magnesium fire starter by Elk Ridge. Uh, hopefully I can keep their logo hidden so I don't have to mask that in the video. Um, the scraper is just a, a bit of metal. It's kind of it, it kind of reminds me of the metal used in uh, saber saw blades. Um, so yeah, it does a nice job of scraping a spark. But yeah, you know, what if you don't have one of these? Let's uh, experiment with some common metals that you might have about your person for scraping. Um, let's try a brass key. Brass doesn't seem to do very well. How about a quarter? This is a, a uh, 2004 Texas quarter. I like Texas. But there's not anything going to happen with a quarter. We're going to try nickel. Nickel has a raised edge that's better for scraping. But you know what? The ferrocerium rods are kind of sensitive about what kind of metals you use to get them to spark. And I believe that we need to have some ferrous metal. And here's a galvanized uh, nail. Let's see how galvanized it's going to do. Aside from being awkward, it doesn't really do very well. Let's try a bolt. I think that little bit of nickel plating chrome plating, whatever these uh, steel bolts are plated with, doesn't really help. Here's a pen clip. Uh, there's something in the pen clip to get some spark. Let's go with something a little bit 
more useful. Here I got my trusty uh, Winchester blade. Um, this is just a cheap little blade that has really served me well. I'm going to use the cutting edge back here at the back and we get some really nice spark there. We can use the back of the blade too. It doesn't have to be a sharp edge, it can be a pretty dull edge. What we want is scraping and it looks like we need some ferrous. This is probably a 400 series uh, stainless steel, I don't know. Um, package didn't label it as what it was. It was just like it said, cheap blade. So there's several items that uh, will cause it to spark, uh, or will, well, won't cause it to spark. We need to have some kind of ferrous material. Alright, we're going to reframe and uh, we're going to check and see how this works with various tinders. So we're going to do some spark testing here and uh, see what kind of tinders work the best. I think uh, just because it's convenient, I'm going to use a little bit of steel wool. I'm going to get the steel wool fluffed up. Uh, just linearly, but I want to get it fluffed out a little bit in you know, three dimensions. Remember, when we're doing stuff with, uh, with tenders, we are looking to keep them fluffed up with air in them because air is a necessary component for combustion, specifically the oxygen in the air. So you can see that with steel wool it works pretty darn nicely. With some other uh, tinder material that'll get you a fire started. Um, So, uh, I'm just going to use this as a holder. Here I have some Acer powder. That's my name for it. Uh, Acer were fire gods for the Norse. This is fatwood shavings. A lot of different ways you can get fatwood shavings. The simplest is to get an old-fashioned pencil sharpener, take the housing off, and use that. Um, the reason you want to take the housing off is it will gum up the blades in the pencil sharpener, and you'll need to scrape the blades out every so often. That wood is gotten from pine stumps where the resin has been stored in the wood and it is just full of resin. This is not easy to use stuff. easier to get a fire started when you have actual curly shavings like you might get from carving from a plane. That's that. Yeah, let's uh, do something with some drier lint. Dryer lint is an excellent tinder. I can get my spark to land in it. You have pets and you got a lot of hair in your dryer lint. Expect a little bit more difficulty. 
hair has to decompose before it will ignite. And there we go. Let that burn for just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of fire going there. There are all kinds of natural tinders to use. This is some Phragmites seed head. Phragmites is a uh, invasive bit of uh, plant, kind of like a reed. Well, it is a reed, and uh, it has a nice, big, fluffy seed head. See, this is going to be a little bit harder to go. I thought I had it there. There we go. With some tender, loving care, that'll get a fire going. Yeah, it has some tender love and care to go with that, though. Fluffing it up. Fluffing it up makes a big difference. Yeah, some nice flame there. Uh, so that's some different tenders. Another nice natural tinder is cattail. I didn't get a chance to get some of that to bring out with me today. But, uh, nice tinders. I like to keep my tinder in a Ziploc bag. They aren't necessarily perfectly waterproof, but you know, they're going to keep it better off. So there we go. Ferrocerium rods. A nice little match that you don't have to worry about it getting wet. And some different tinders that we can use to start fires with. So uh, kill that skeeter. Oh. One last thing, we can use a rock with this. This is iron ore. I don't know if any other rocks will work, but iron ore certainly works. Get some pretty good sparks with iron ore. All right, folks, uh, thanks for coming and visiting with Z-Man again. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll look for you to come back and enjoy some more. Remember, the knowledge that you carry out into the woods in your head, it doesn't weigh anything, and it doesn't take up any space in your bag.